Being green. <laughs> Most importantly, being green machine, are you a ghost? Being blissful. Excellent. All right, being green machine. That's our being green beans. <laughs> the stage will be yours in three, two, one. You may begin. It appears that your engine flux operator is critically compromised, exhibiting a severe suboptimal quantum flux divergence. To recalibrate and restore system integrity, I will generate a comprehensive repair protocol. The initial procedure entails aligning the neuroprocessing system precisely with the primary top port connector of the engine flux operator. Following this, Integrate the quantum flow nozzle into the designated left port coupling of the engine flux operator. Initiate a clockwise rotational torque on the quantum flow nozzle to engage, and lock the coupling mechanism, ensuring a stable quantum flux pathway. The third operation entails linking the turbo capacitor to the engine flux operator via an electrostatic charge conveying wire. Establish a conductive link between the negative polarity terminal of the turbo capacitor and the positive polarity terminal of the engine flux operator to facilitate unrestricted electrostatic energy flow. The final step entails an initial electrostatic energy infusion to the turbo capacitor, 
Upon receiving the electrostatic energy infusion, all components of the propulsion system will activate sequentially and the rocket will be viable for an imminent atmospheric deployment. Ah! I know just the thing to power this rocket! Green lightning! Green lightning? That's insane. See, Jupiter's storms here are unlike anything on Earth. The storms here are up to thousands of times more powerful than anything we've seen before. They light up areas as large as two Germanys and create massive craters. How's that even possible? On Jupiter, heat rises from the equator, creating convection currents and storms near both poles. This creates layers of clouds filled with the gas of helium, ammonia, water, and hydrogen. Yeah, in the clouds, the friction causes the element to churn and mix. The water freezes into tiny ice particles, which collide with water droplets. This is lightning, just like on Earth, just on a larger scale. The lighter ice particles rise, creating a positive particle while the heavier particles fall, creating a negative charge cloud. Exactly. Once the difference between the two becomes large enough, the reaches, it reaches a breaking point, and lightning strikes to discharge the energy. But why is it green? That's just so sinister. Hey, it's because of the ammonia in the atmosphere. You see, when lightning strikes, the ammonia burns with the oxygen, creating a greenish flame. Oh, and this makes sense. Because Jupiter storms are so big, the lightning is going to be thousands of times more powerful than the ones on Earth and it's going to be more than enough to power our turbo capacity. Exactly. Now, it's going to be very dangerous when we get out there, so I think you need a little something to help you remember. Cue the music! <laughs> no. no. This can't be wrong. This can't be happening. Don't tell me it's a song. It's a song. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Do we really have to sing? Trust me, your brain needs to sing. If you want to make it fun. The heat rises from the surface, creating lots of clouds filled with different gases. Friction mixes the elements, ice crystals collide with water, helping to create a spark. The charges grow apart, the difference is enormous, and the particles collide, and the clouds reach a breaking point. Ammonia burns with oxygen, in a big lightning strike. And that's how we make Yeah. 